Question number two. The given specimen is rose. Calyx. Calyx and corolla are parts of a flower. Calyx refers to the outermost whorl of a flower, which is typically green and consists of sepals. Sepals are modified leaves that protect the flower bud before it blooms. Corolla. Corolla, on the other hand, is the second whorl of a flower, which is typically colorful and consists of petals. Petals are modified leaves that attract pollinators to the flower. Floral formula. Floral formula is a shorthand notation used to represent the structure of a flower. It consists of a series of symbols and numbers that represent the number of floral parts in each world, as well as their arrangement. The formula typically starts with the number of sepals, followed by the number of petals, then the number of stamens, and finally the number of carpels. For example, the flower with five sepals, five petals, ten stamens, and one carpel. Floral formula would be K5, C5, A10, G1. Inflorescence. Inflorescence is a term used to describe the arrangement of flowers on a plant. It refers to the way in which flowers are grouped together on a stem or branch. There are many different types of inflorescence, including spikes, racemes, panicles, umbels, and heads. The type of inflorescence can be used to help identify different plant species. For example, a sunflower has a head type inflorescence called capitulum. Question number three. The given specimen is the atlas vertebra of frog skeleton. Question number four. A. Transverse section of vein. B. Paramecium. C. Transverse section of skeleton muscle. D. Starfish. E. Flatfish. Important characters of vein. 1. Three layers are present. Muscular wall is thin. 2. Lumen is larger than artery. Important characters of paramecium. 1. Its appearance is like a sole of a shoe. The whole body is covered with cilia. 2. They have two nuclei in their cytoplasm named as macronucleus and micronucleus. Important characters of skeleton muscle. 1. These muscles are striated. They have regular stripes for striation. 2. These muscle cells are multinucleated. Phylum of starfish. Starfish belong to the phylum Echinodermata, which is a group of marine animals characterized by radial symmetry, a water vascular system, and spiny skin. Class of flatfish. Flatfish belong to the class Actinopterygii, which is a group of ray-finned fishes characterized by bony skeletons, gills for breathing, and fins supported by bony rays. Flatfish are unique in that they have a flattened body shape and both eyes on one side of their head.